division we already know how to do the binary division we have learned it in our earlier uh, courses so this is uh, we uh, as we have learned uh, the multiplication uh, binary multiplication in our earlier courses we already have learned the division now this is how the division uh, works checks for uh, checks for zero divisor and then long division approach what do we do if divisor less than equal to dividend then one bit quotient and then we perform the subtract otherwise zero bit is, is quotient bring down the next divided bit and this is how the division takes place division hardware this hardware performs the division operation where divisor is 64 bit we have alu which is also 64 bit and reminder is 64 bit the operation is performed following this uh, algorithm this flowchart uh, step by step uh, uh, by following a step by step uh, algorithm that is given here so divisor is a 64 bit and a reminder is 64 bit and 64 bit alu performs the arithmetic operation that is required after each iteration the divisor is right shifted by one bit and this is how the operation is performed optimizing optimized divide, uh, divider uh, the, the hardware looks similar to that uh, used in case of multiplication uh, and th this can be possible and then faster division uh, fa uh, faster division is a challenge because we cannot perform parallel operations as in case of multiplier subtraction is conditional on sign of the reminder that's why we cannot have a parallel uh, operations always Similar to the multiplication, we also used high and low registers here. High, uh, high register 32 bit for reminder and low register 32 bit for quotient. And this is the divisor uh, uh, or division instruction, uh, uh, MIPS instruction DIV RSRT. Again, if you uh, look carefully, then you would see that there is no a destination register because like the multiplication the result directly goes to the high and low registers if we need the value of a reminder or quotient we need to perform move from high or move from low operation as discussed previously that till now we have been discussing about integer values but when we are trying to represent a really big number or really small number, then integer value may not be enough to represent them. We need to use the floating point representation. As it says that representation of a non-integer number, including very small and very large numbers. So, like scientific notation, minus 2.34 into 10 to the power 56. This is in the normalized form. But the rem these two they are not in the normalized form but a in some kind of scientific notation in binary since we only have zero and ones and the base is two so the representation would look like as as given here types like float and double in c so floating point standard defined by ieee this is called ieee 754 floating point standard and it is given in 1985 we'll be looking at this standard and we'll be representing values uh, based on this uh, format a, a, this ieee 754 has its own format for representing values and we'll be using that format to represent values uh, 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 for example developed in response to divergence of, uh, of representation Portability issue uh, for scientific code now almost universally yet adopted almost universally adopted two representation one is single precision and the other one is double precision. So uh, we uh, will be mainly uh, looking at the single precision uh, values obvious the obvious reason is uh, this 32 bit the architecture that we are dealing with is 32 bit. So we will be mainly uh, discussing 32 bit uh, or single precision values. But yes, a double precision value will be discussed, but not in greater detail. Now, what is the format of uh, IEEE 754 representation or floating point representation? 
So, the representation looks something like this, the cells some look something like this. We have fraction field, we have exponent field and then we have sign field. Then uh, as we know the value can be negative or positive. So, this bit indicates whether the value is positive or negative and then we have the exponent bit and the remaining is the fraction bit. Now, for single, single precision, this exponent bit has 8 bits or exponent field rather, exponent field, uh, field has 8 bits and this fraction field has 23 bits and for sine we have 1 bit. So, in total this is 30, uh, 32 bits. For double precision, sine has 1 bit and for exponent 11 bits are assigned and for fraction 52 bits are assigned. So, if we would like to represent a value using our IEEE 754 floating point representation or the, the, this format, so the x can be written as x equal to minus 1 to the power s. This s is actually the sign multiplied by 1 plus fraction. So, which means this fraction multiplied by 2 to the power exponent minus bias. Now, let me explain this. So, which this suggests that whatever the value we have, it will be in the form 1 point something since this is by a binary a notation. So, this will be 1 point the fraction, 1 plus the fraction. Fraction means it's uh, the values uh, that, that are after the decimal point. And now, we have minus 1 to the power s. So, we all know that for in case of positive value, s would be 0. So, minus 1 to the power 0 is positive value and when it is negative value s is 1 so minus 1 to the power 1 means negative 1 now as it says that s sine bit 0 non negative value and 1 is negative value so normalize significant 1.0 less than equal significant and less than 2.0 always has a leading pre binary point uh, point 1 bit so no need to represent when we are representing this value into our format, we do not consider this one bit because this this is uh, this is given, and we do not want to consider this bit in this format because that would require one bit, that would put impact on the precision of the uh, value. Now, uh, what is bias notation? We'd like to represent uh, uh, the uh, exponent into unsigned value. That's why we use the bias notation. So, for single precision, the bias is 127 and for double precision, the bias is 1203. So, single precision range, exponent, all 0 and all 1s are reserved. So, we are not going to use them. So, smallest value is exponent 1, which is actually minus 126. So, the smallest exponent that we could use using single precision value is 2 to the power minus 126 and the uh, value would look like something like this 1 plus minus 1.0 into 2 to the power minus 126 which is equivalent to 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 38 largest value we cannot use this one all one so the largest exponent is this, the ex, uh, actual uh, exponent is then plus 127. So, the fraction would be 2 to the power plus minus 2 to, uh, 2 .2 to the power plus 20, 127 which gives us 3.4 into 10 to the power positive 38. So, this is the maximum value, decimal value that we can represent using single precision uh, representation and this is the minimum uh, value that we can represent using single precision uh, value. For double precision, the range is much higher. Again, like the single precision, we, we cannot use this value and this value because they are reserved. So, using a double precision, the smallest exponent could be, could be this, only 1, which actually is minus 1022. So, if we represent that in the, uh, in, in the exponent form, then it would be plus minus 1.0 into 2 to the power minus 
1022 which would give us in decimal plus minus 2.2 into 10 to the power minus 308 the largest value the ex largest exponent is this so if we convert it uh, into the actual value so the largest exponent in decimal would be positive plus 1023 and the largest value that we could uh, represent using this uh, notation double precision notation is plus minus 1.8 into 10 to the power plus 308 which is really really huge number if we compare this with the single precision then we would see we can see that the double precision can handle much larger range So floating point precision, relative precision, all fraction bits are significant. So in single precision, uh, we have 23 bits in the fraction. So it's a 2 to the power minus 23. Now, it, if we if we try to uh, try to come up with the uh, like decimal uh, precision, if we perform this math, then we would see that with single precision uh, we, we can cover six decimal digit precision with double uh, double precision we can cover 16 decimal digits of precision 